you know a few things about bookkeeping. Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Well enough that a young heir to millions has contracted you to run his businesses for him. We are here in sunny California to help out Howard Hughes today. You have a general power of attorney. Ooh, and I'm an attorney too. All right. That'll help with Kappa. To fulfill any and all of his wishes. Oh, it's a beautiful golf course. Good to see you all back. Thanks for leaving a like and hanging out with me today. This should be a lot of fun. Do whatever you can to help expand his empire. Time for some airplanes, more airplanes. We barely scratched the surface on them, so I'm looking forward Make to this. Make Mr. Howard Hughes the richest man in the world. Man, looks like we're going to be making some uh, movies, some golfing, and some Your airplanes. client wants nothing less than to produce the most phenomenal film in the history of Hollywood. It's supposed to revolve around an epic dogfight during the First World War. Mr. Hughes needs loads of authentic aircraft to accomplish this, and you're supposed to dig them up. But there are hardly any planes left of the ones called for. Contact everyone who still owns suitable examples. All right, so we need to acquire, acquire some... all of the old airplane models that are still available for Mr. Hughes. World War One planes. If only so that any competitors won't be able to use the planes for their own film project. Roger that, my man. Let's check out what's going on in L.A. Mr. Filippo, a star on the local music scene, would hand over an airplane if you shoot your film with sound instead of as a silent film. Uh, that requires precise calibration of the microphones. You want me to make noise? Okay, we need to acquire airplanes. I guess we'll get airplanes if we can make a lot of noise in Los Angeles. All right, I guess that works out because I was already going to build buses here so I could transport passengers. Uh, all right, let's get started then by building... Eh, let's go with like 10 buses. LA's pretty populated, so that should be a good move. All right, let's go on to the next one. So we need to make noise. I guess the buses will help with that. But also, let's get some planes going. So uh, that should make some noise, too. So uh, let's see. We'll go from L.A. to Bakersfield to... Oh, misclick on that one. Let's try that again. We'll go from L.A. There we are. L.A. to Bakersfield. And then to... Uh, let's see. What is this area here? Oh, ba oh, there's two Bakersfield. Oh, Santa Barbara. I see. All right, we'll start close to our initial starting point here, and we'll buy a few aircraft to get started. I doubt anyone will take these routes, but uh, we should at least start with some planes. Let's buy, like, three to begin with. Actually, let's go with eight. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. That'll be much better. And then eventually I can uh, build buses to the airport, so that way people will actually go uh, via the airplane rather than the... Uh, well, I guess this is better than rail. All right, what's going on over here in Bakersfield? The group of owners would sell their airplanes, but they're concerned about how the planes will be treated. Guarantee that the planes remain intact by training skilled stunt pilots. All right, so we just need to land five planes in Bakersfield. That's going to work out. A famous actress owns three of the right models and would entrust them to you. If you take care of having the road to her mansion asphalted. Ah, yes, of course, a private road all the way from uh, San Francisco to her mansion. Okay, totally fine. All right. That's a long way away. There we are, ma'am. Cool. All right, all done. So now we've got three out of ten planes. We just need to make a little bit more noise and then complete five training flights. I also see there's a sand quarry nearby. There also is a distillery and a machine slash tool shop. And it looks like uh, also a, uh, yeah, uh, looks like a lumber mill too. And it looks like Mr. Hughes has his factory here. So it's quite obvious that at some point we're going to have to deliver materials here in order for him to do research or development of some sort. So let's go ahead and get these connected right away. There's also a large uh, truck network here, or rather road, so a truck network would be fine. Uh, rail might be a little too uh, much here because we're not probably going to be transporting too much stuff, but since there's already roads, let's go with that. Looks like there's a food processing area there too. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and build this here. All right, so we should be able to supply the golf course. Actually, I bet people need to go to the golf course too. I don't, I don't know why I actually built a truck depot there. Uh, but all right, I guess that'll be fine. Let's build one over by the rail yard too. Maybe we'll have to build some rail lines at some point. Looks like that's the only rail line in the map. Hmm, okay. And we'll have to build some more bus stops to each one of these uh, destinations. So let's speed up time and let's get all this stuff done. And I'll start connecting everything with the uh, buses and whatnot so we can get people going to the airports because that's more important. There we are. Maybe we'll have them circle around again. All right, so let's build one over here at Santa Barbara. Looks like we're dealing with rather large cities, so if we connect them all up, there should be lots of passengers willing to go to the airport. So let's go with, uh, let's see, uh, one, two, 
three, four, and on the way back. Okay, should be fine. Right, let's buy uh, five buses here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. It is 1934, so World War II hasn't yet begun, so we might be asked to build mer military aircraft at some point, maybe. So we'll have to keep that in mind. So LA all connected, except for I didn't really build a bus stop at the uh, train at the uh, at the uh, terminal here. It looks like I'm making enough noise now in LA. Good. <laughs> Objective complete. I guess it was inevitable, really, to complete that, since we have all this stuff running automatically. So let's go with line one. I'll add a new stop to that. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> now, airport should be connected on both terminal. Oh, good. There's actually people waiting at the airport. Excellent. So we'll be making money off passengers as well. All right. We just need to complete five training flights to... Uh, let's see. We already built a road to the villa, so that's done. Uh, we need to com complete five takeoffs and landings at the airfield of Bakersfield. And it looks like I've got planes ready to go there, so it'll just be a matter of time. Uh, let's see, what's next? Uh, looks like we could probably connect Bakersfield up a little bit to the airport, so let's do that. Might have to transport a number of passengers or something in the meantime, so it is a good idea to get everything connected so we can do that. Looks like we'll do something with the golf course, so I'm assuming we'll probably have to transport people there for a big golf competition or something. I'm trying to think in, uh, you know, in advance, knowing the game. I also should start building more trams, too, instead of Very buses. good. Meanwhile, the necessary aircraft have been assembled. Now the film set has to be appropriately prepared, and it must be ensured that no obstructions hinder the planes from taking off and landing. Hmm. So it looks like we want the planes to stop and circle in the blue area, and it seems like turning them off will force them to circle, so we need to get two planes, basically, to be flying in the circle so Mr. Hughes can prepare his thing. Okay. Well, we got one plane on the way. Will he, will he pass through here? Let's see possible. Just need to get two planes to fly over that circle. Let's check that line again. Oh yeah, looks like he might pass right up. Oh, it's going to be a little, little late. Where's he going? Alright, I guess when the planes leave Los Angeles, they'll fly through that circle on the way to Santa Barbara. So that's when we'll stop them. In the meantime, let's get a uh, thing set up here. Take a quick second to uh, connect our train line or our bus lines. There we go, and buy five buses again. On to line number four. All right, cool. So Bakersfield is connected to the airport. Santa Barbara and Los Angeles are all connected. Seems like San Francisco is well out of the way, but we'll have to uh, work on settling that a little bit later. All right, aircraft are getting ready for takeoff. So we'll stop this plane first, aircraft number five when it's in there, and then right behind it, aircraft number six. So five and six will get ready to stop there, and that should be the next thing to do. Wow, we're going really quick so far. Planes are a lot faster. Notice the objectives that they give you are rather quick. All right. Aircraft five is in the circle. And he's circling. Perfect. Mr. Hughes' aviator movie is in the can and now breaking all records at the box office. Wow. But your client already has new plans in store. He not only wants to shoot films about flying, he wants to own his own airline. He's already been able to nail down some shares in a transcontinental airline, but sadly not enough for a controlling interest yet. Make sure that your boss becomes the majority shareholder in the airline by acquiring more than 50% of the shares. All right. Uh, find opportunities at the airfield, golf course, and party location. All right, golf course, what do the you The owner of a golf course in Beverly ah, Hills perfect. will be prepared to secretly acquire shares from third parties if, in return, you help to increase the popularity of her greens. All right. So we need to deliver some sand. Mr. Hughes has made it his people. goal to become the world's best golfer. You're supposed to support him on the way. Your boss would like to have a place where he can practice playing golf with his current girlfriend, the famous actress Catherine Hepburn. Wow. First of all, a challenging course with interesting landscaping has to be created. All right, so we'll have to build a bus stop here near the airport to go to the golf course. And then we also need to deliver sand. So let's buy, uh, well, first of all, let's set up a route for the sand delivery. So it just says to deliver sand. So is that just one truckload of sand? 
I guess we just buy one truck. It'll make us some money, though, if we make a few. So let's let's buy just, like, five trucks. That'll be fine. Uh, let's see, what can they haul? Uh, looks like this one can haul sand. One is 44 with a capacity of 8. Uh, let's see, what's the speed? Ah, oh, this one can go faster, though, so let's buy five. All right, that's on the uh, sand delivery route. Good. Now we need a bus line to bring people to the golf course, probably from the airport, so we can pick up passengers from the airport and from the downtown area. So we'll have them drop off there. Good thing I built that route there. Looking pretty good so far. Let's see what the next goal is. Throw a rip-roaring party for Mr. Hughes. Use a program of outstanding scheduled events and excellent catering to make sure that a flock of illustrious guests shows up who happen to own shares in a certain airline. Ah. So we need to deliver alcohol. That's a distillery up there, so we can connect that. Mr. Weber bets that your boss won't be able to break the speed record for circumnavigating the globe. If he does, you'll surrender his shares to him. Now he needs to train to win the bet. Uh, keep an airplane in the air for an unbroken time of three minutes. Uh, okay, I suppose that'll be accomplished by one of our planes flying to, like, Santa Barbara. Or we can have one special flight to San Francisco. We'll see how that works out. Okay, deliver alcohols next. Let's work on that. Uh, so we just need to deliver that to a party location inside of town. So all these roads are set up ahead of time, so we're good. Oh, yeah, where's the party location? I need a truck stop there. Actually, I've been building these large truck stations, but what I could do is this as well. I've not been doing that. Oh, okay, looks like that was set. One thing I've been forgetting to do is I, I can actually build, like, truck stops there, which are a lot more effective for smaller amounts of vehicles. I probably haven't been doing that as much as I should have, but also I kind of like building the truck stops overall since there's always more vehicles you can add without taking more space. All right, let's pick up some booze. Which truck here is faster? Looks like uh, this one would be the faster one. So we'll go with 10 of these. And did Very I Very good. Oh, wow. You've laid the foundations for a course that arouses interest. But what's still missing now is the aesthetic touch and the necessary discretion. Wait, line 7 is the... Uh, oh, that's right. I didn't add the second station. Perfect. Now the trucks can go. All right, booze is coming in. Sand is being delivered. We just need a few more people to go. Uh, transporting guests. Make sure the golf course receives plenty of visitors. Well, I can only really assure that, like, one person could show up at least. It'll take a little time, but we'll get it eventually. Uh, delivering alcohol is on the way. And then spruce up the golf course. Decorate. Plant trees and bushes in the golf course. Oh, okay. That's easy. Uh, assets. Uh, let's go with these trees, I suppose. Do these count? No. I gotta do in the golf course? Like here. No. Hmm. How do we decorate the golf course? Oh, looks like it counted for one. I'll just put them here because I don't really know where I need to put them. So let's just... We'll just add some bushes, I guess, around here. There we go. All right, guests are starting to arrive at the... What an eye-pleasing green. Since Mr. Hughes takes pleasure in every convenience, he should be able to land his plane right next to the golf course. Okay. All right, looks like we've got trucks coming to pick up the alcohol, so that should be the last goal. Man, things are really moving here. Nicely done. Guests are going to the golf course. All right, San Francisco's kind of been ignored, but eventually I'm going to have to deliver tools from Fresno, so let's go ahead and set up a truck stop. I like these truck stops more, these little, <clears throat> kind of like a, you know, side loading area. I do like that. All right, so Mr. Hughes is also going to need to get some planks from the forest. And what was the other thing? Tools, planks, and steel, I believe. So there's steel over here at the steel mill. Everything seems to be able to just be transported via truck or plane, so which is nicer than uh, setting up a giant train line just to deliver, like, five people to a golf course. So I think trucks have been the best thing so far for us. Uh, oh, build an airport near the golf course. Oh, cool. Um, passenger airfield. Oh, that is huge, dude. Uh, Mr. Hughes, this is, uh, okay. This is, uh, an interesting choice, but okay. I'll, uh, set that up over here, I guess. There's really no other room. Wonderful. The golf course is extremely exclusive. Now it's up to Mr. Hughes to improve his handicap. 
Uh, I don't even know if we're going to have uh, people landing there, but okay. All right, delivering alcohol is the last thing. Do we have any booze trucks on the way? That's got to be one right there. Oh, yeah. Eight out of eight, baby. There we go. All right. Rest of our goodies are coming in for a party. Nice. So the golf course has plenty of stuff there. It looks like there's a food depot here, too. Let's put down a truck stop for this one specifically as well. I'm sure food will have to be delivered at some point. Thanks to your dedication, Mr. Hughes has been able to secure a majority shareholding in the airline. Now he can do whatever he pleases. Up, up, and away. Transport 10 people between uh, San Francisco and Los Angeles. All right. Uh, station types do not match. Oh, did I accidentally click? Wait, did I click on a train station? Oh, the airport's here. There we go. Wow, that's a long distance to go. All right, let's uh, start with a few aircraft. Uh, I think we'll start with five to begin with. And we'll get on that route. Okay, let's go show some love to San Francisco by connecting that one to the airport as well. And there's the bay, so the... I don't know if the bridge was built yet. 1934, I'm not quite sure when the Golden Gate Bridge was completed. Oh, but we do have a new vehicle available. Oh, right on time, a Douglas DC-3. Oh, let's call back our other craft. Hold on. Let's go buy the new airplane instead. Uh, oh boy, they left. Well, let's go to this line. Line 8. Uh, let's see, line 8 vehicles. Let's replace those. Sorry, boys. Time to be sold. Let's buy some new DC-8s on our new line. It'll be a lot faster, too. They're 331 kilometers per hour. So let's see if we can buy, uh, let's see, what is it, Los Angeles Airport? There it is. All right, buy vehicles. So this one is 200 kilometers. These are 331. That's exactly what we want. Let's buy five of those instead. There we go. Nice. All right, they'll be up here soon. And it looks like they're on the line, right? Line eight. There we are. Okay. Let's get started by building our wonderful connection to the airport. I like doing a big bus station at the airport. It seems to make sense, right? Tons of people are going to go to the airport. Hopefully. And let's build some regular old bus stops. Wow. San Francisco is a huge city. And a lot more flat than I remember. Especially near the bay. Okay, we'll do one more here. Cool. So now we should be able to pick up and drop off from the airport, too. So let's go all the way around. Let's see. Hopefully I don't miss any of these. I'm sure when I've been, been playing so far, I've missed a stop at some point. For certain. Okay, those look good. All right, let's go ahead and buy some buses now. And I guess we'll build this outside of town. I always like not destroying buildings if I don't have to. Sometimes I do when we build our bus terminals. Let's go with 15 vehicles here, because this city is big. Almost bigger than L.A. In fact, I think it might be, at least in terms of size. But the population might be less. Who knows? All right, so far we've transported 1,177 people. So now we need to complete long-distance flights. Is anybody on these planes? Oh, we got one person. Okay, one person's on the flight. Cool. All right, we'll get some more people going soon enough. Line 8 is where... Whoa, there's already 100 people waiting to go on Line 2. Holy crap. All right, let's add some more planes. Uh, let's see, Line 2. Oh, wait. Yeah, these are the old planes. All right, let's go ahead and sell these. Sorry, folks. Anybody who's on board, <laughs> the plane's just going to disappear from under you. Sorry about that. All right, Line 2. Let's upgrade to the new, new planes. Let's buy 10 of these because this seems to be quite a popular line. And now we have faster planes. They could probably hold more people. There goes our army. We're going to have paratroopers or something coming out of there. All right. <clears throat> now we've got one person on that uh, flight to Los An uh, from Los Angeles to San Francisco. So that's complete. And now four people want to be transferred between. So anybody they bring back will count as well. Listen to this music. I feel like getting down with it. And uh, jiving, you know what I mean? The map looks pretty accurate, too, for the uh, West Coast. All right, some more planes are going out. Mr. Hughes requires wood, steel, and tools. I can see those on the map there. You can see in the center of the screen he is actually 
going to receive those whenever we connect trucks to it. I think trucks will just be the best thing to do. It looks like we got one more person needed to complete our flights. How are we looking now? Oh, wow, look at that. 33 people want to go on line 8. 73 people want to go on line 2. Oh, boy. And we got plenty of planes coming out. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at mine. I'm playing on high speed. Ah, the days before air, airplane security. Look at that. People are just waiting outside like they would at the bus. Well, we could buy some more planes, but let's keep it the way it is. It looks like it's pretty busy. Mr. Hughes, is he arriving on his private airfield at all? No? That's oh, a huge building for some sort of a private airfield. Wonderful. Mr. Hughes's airline is currently in the process of really taking off. Uh -huh. But your boss already has his mind on other things. Instead of merely flying aircraft, he wants to build them himself. At any rate, the U.S. Army has called for tenders I for several it. interesting contracts. Help to develop prototypes which will soon be the pride of the whole nation. Okay, so we're Modern start aviation planes. holds numerous challenges. Your boss is a genius who finds the right solution for every problem. All that's missing is putting the solutions into practice. Well, I knew we were going to have to connect these at some point, so let's get this done. Uh, so complete the task of the tool factory, steel mill, and sawmill. Oh, do we have to do some side quests? All right, what do you need at the tool factory? For his latest project, Mr. Hughes is experimenting with the widest variety of materials and equipment. Make sure that his workshop leaves nothing to be desired. Okay, let's check out the logging camp. Mr. Hughes is supposed to design a seaplane for the military. Ah. Since steel is a scarce wartime commodity, the gigantic flying boat has to be built entirely oh, no. out of spruce. We're building the Spruce Goose, one of the largest, uh, well, designed aircraft at the time. I, though it flew, it didn't really uh, take off, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and try the steel mill next. The U.S. Air Force has ordered 98 XF-11 planes, which are supposed to be deployed as reconnaissance aircraft overseas in Europe. Get your hands on the necessary materials. Okay, so we need steel. So that'll be delivered. And then we've got uh, wood is the last one. I've been building depots here just to have this truck spawn closer since we have all the extra money. Okay, what was the last thing we needed to click on? Okay, the last one is steel planks and tools. Looks like I did them all. Okay, let's start uh, setting up these routes. We'll buy five trucks here just to keep supplies flowing. So this one can pick up steel. This, that, that, I think this is the faster truck, right? It can capacity nine. Let's buy five here. This is for the steel mill. Then five of the same for the lumber yard. So let's buy those. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. And then finally, the tool yard, which is since it's a longer supply chain, I'll buy ten. Okay. So let's see what line is this. This is the purple line. Uh, 10. All right, we'll put these trucks on line 10. Wait a minute. I may have bought the incorrect truck. This is for tools, so that needs a different truck, I believe. I got excited because I like these uh, forward side street trucks. Let's try that one more time. Uh, buy vehicles. Uh, we want the covered truck. Not that one, but this one. Okay, same deal. Just different modification of the same truck. All right, back to line 10. Nine, is it? No, it's line 10. Should be line 10 coming out of there at San Francisco. Good. And then we want our trucks on line, uh, which one is this? 12. Line 12 coming out of Santa Barbara. And then line 11 coming out of the steel mill at Los Angeles. There we are. Okay, materials should be delivered soon. Mr. Hughes wants to be not only the best golfer in the world, but the best pilot, too. Assist him in making this dream come true. To achieve his goal, Mr. Hughes needs to complete quite a few training flights. Make the necessary preparations so that your boss can soon claim to be the world's best pilot. All right. Let's go ahead and have him fly a DC-3 so it's faster. And then we'll just build a training route for Mr. Hughes by just simply doing this. There we go, I'll just fly in a circle. Okay. He's going crazy. Come in with the milk. Come in with the milk. Come in with the milk. Perfect. 
Uh, what do we have a warning on? Oh, line 13 only has one destination. Well, that's so that way he can take off and land three times. He's got to practice. Okay. Wow, planes are going crazy. Wow, there's a lot of people there. Well, so long as we're completing the objectives, that's what I care about most. So how are we doing with planks deliveries? It looks like we've got planks sitting there. Good. And it looks like our trucks are hopefully loaded with materials here. Yep, looks like we're loaded with some tools. Okay. And what about the steel mill trucks? Where are they? Let's see. Where, where's one of those trucks? There it is, in the front. Two out of twenty. Uh, two, two tools out of nine. Good. All right. Planks are done. Good. Now we just got to wait for the uh, tools to arrive. And the steel, too. And we're also delivering the booze, so we should be making some more money soon. Wow, I can't believe it. We're transporting a lot of people, but still not making a lot of money. Then again, aircraft are very expensive. Okay, let's see. Oh, airport's got what it needs. Mr. Hughes has completed his first landing. Good. All right, steel has arrived, and now the final thing are the tools from a very long distance away. Let's see if they're coming in on one of these trucks. Ah, there it is. That's probably one of our first trucks. Or this one. That one there. Yes, it is. Due to unfortunate circumstances, the orders placed by the Army were unable to be completed. As a penalty, Congress has now ordered your boss to fly the lawmakers around for free. Oh, to hell with that government. Transport 10 people by airplane between the airfield in Santa Barbara and San Francisco free of charge. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, we have half a billion dollars. I still don't understand why the game gives, gives me that much money, but whatever. Anyway, might be an early pr or preview version or whatever. Doesn't matter. Regardless, we're going to make some cash by not making money at all. We'll bribe Congress, and that's how you really make money. Uh, okay, so between the airfield in Santa Barbara and San Francisco, fine. Free of charge, so we just got to transport people from A to B. Heavens! Mr. Hughes crashed in the course of a test flight over the country club no, and suffered didn't. serious injuries. He's fine. Now he's bored stiff in the hospital and tinkering with a motorized hospital bed. He wants to have a prototype built right there, according to his instructions. What? Deliver steel and tools to the hospital. Howard Hughes, are you crazy? All right, yes he is. All right, let's build a truck onload stop here in the city. There we go. All right, so I guess we will uh, reroute some of the steel and tools to the town. So let's find those routes again. Which one uh, had the... St uh, 11 was the steel, so let's reroute that into town. Uh, where's that truck stop? There it is. Okay, so that sh should be our steel mill. And then which, what's the other one? Tools is the other one. He wants tools. That's line, I believe, uh, 12. Line 10. All right, line 10 will go into the hospital then. Uh-oh. Uh Which one is near the hospital? There we go. Okay, those should start delivering that now. All right, so we need 10 congressmen to fly in the planes to uh, Santa Barbara to San Francisco. And then we need uh, Mr. Hughes to have his motorized uh, hospital bed. Probably be easier, uh, Howard, to make a motorized wheelchair. But yeah. All right. There he goes. Wow, look at all these people. Oh man, we need to transport more and more people. Let me buy a bunch of new buses for this. Uh, oh wait, that's the airport. Uh, there's the road depot. Let's buy maybe 15 new ones. Seems to be a, quite a lot of people here. So all the way down the line, and I believe our first line was line one in L.A. So there we go. Yeah, that's 46 people sitting there. Good. Well, we can move them all to the airport and then start buying more planes if we need to. All right. Oh, and uh, we can cancel this flight now because Mr. Hughes has, uh, quote-unquote, crashed. Let's go ahead and turn this aircraft off for now. 
We'll just let it sit at the airfield. We might have to come back and do something else with it. So we'll just leave it sit there. He might want to try an upgraded plane or something. Who knows? Okay, so looks like steel and uh, s steel and tools are on their way. Hopefully. Should be here soon. And then Congress needs 10 people. Uh, to be delivered on a flight. Looks like that's line 14 for the Congress line. So hopefully somebody gets there soon. Uh, here's two. Probably more there. Maybe we'll be a halfway there. Oh, perfect. We're already two. Oh, wow. Nine out of ten. Okay, just one more. Which I think this plane will do it. Oh, that's line eight. That's line eight. There we are. Line 14 with two more people. Perfect. All right, that'll be done, and then Mr. Hughes will eventually get his steal. After the unpleasant issue with Congress, Mr. Hughes has had enough of aircraft manufacturing for now. However, his passion for film has been rekindled, which made him promptly buy a production company. Help your boss shoot the greatest blockbuster of all time. Ah, uh, yes. Mr. Hughes's film studios have several sensational projects in the pipeline. Die hard one. Decorate the different film sets with the right props. You want me to decorate? Okay. A contemporary music film about the turbulent romance between two young Hollywood starlets is being shot here. Get your hands on the necessary props to create the right atmosphere. <laughs> Mr. Hughes is set on becoming the most famous film producer of all time. What's stopping him? The commie riffraff hanging around his studios. That's right. He has contracted you to put an end to the communist infiltration of Hollywood once and for all. The staff working on the set are on strike. What nerve. It's the poisoned ideology of those Ruskies that fills their heads with that kind of flim-flam. Show those people that they're still in good old America. So you want me to call the cops or what? I don't, I don't know what the hell you want. The film about an enterprising newspaper tycoon is supposed to become an exceptional masterpiece. Help with building the extravagant scenery that's intended to form the setting for the drama. Okay, line 12 is the one. Uh, the one with the wood. So let's go ahead and put the uh, truck stop here then. Actually, if I connect, if I put a truck stop here and connect the roads, it might be a good centralized point for all future deliveries. Let's connect the roads. Oh, only that one's connected? Oh, the other ones aren't even. Okay. Um, all right, so this line 12, was it? Needs to be rerouted to the station here. The automatically adjustable bed promises relief for a multitude of afflictions. Meanwhile, Mr. Hughes has already left the hospital. Okay. All right, so planks need to be delivered to re uh, resolve the strike. Oh, no, that's for building a backdrop. And then resolve the strike, what do you want me to do? Set things right at the studio. How do I do that? A group of screenwriting hacks is supposed to be responsible for the pinko epidemic. Find out where these agitator characters hold their meetings. It must be somewhere in the industrial part of Los Angeles. The communist forces are slippery and dodge your investigations. Stake out their homes in Santa Barbara and Bakersfield without attracting attention. Uh, Santa Barbara and Bakersfield, okay. Ha! You've caught the pinko rats in the act with a handful of ideological pamphlets. Now they have to testify before the House Un-American Activities Committee in Washington. See to it that they get there as fast as possible. All right, so we got to sell an airplane, got it. Actress Jane Russell needs a special bra that shows oh. off her <clears throat> assets to the best advantage. Mr. Hughes fiddles around with an idea involving special steel supports. We are now literally delivering steel for a woman's brassiere. All right. Looks like the same truck stop can work, so, uh, all right. Interesting. Imagine that. Having a truckload come in so that way you can be built a custom bra. Wow. All right, so steel and, and uh, planks will be on the way soon. Uh, we need to sell an airplane. So let's just sell Mr. Hughes' airplane that's literally sitting right there. Um, aircraft 16 on line 13. There you go. So the main culprits have been blacklisted. 
Now it's just a case of getting rid of their supporters. Clean out Mr. Hughes's studios by firing the percentage of the workforce who've been contaminated with communism. Um, yeah. The commie threat is over and done with. Nothing stands in the way of Mr. Hughes's career as the world's most famous film producer anymore. I don't think America was as concerned about communism until the 50s. Like in 36, it was basically Great Depression time. Then Hitler and their boys crossed into French territory, taking over. You gotta get over there and show them what's what. Give them both barrels, boys. All right, let's go. All right, so it's just the steel needs to be delivered. Oh, apparently I need to dress another set. What does that mean? Oh, uh, the bra. Right, okay. All right, so I guess we just wait till that. Right? Dress set, uh, film set one. So film set one needs the brassiere, and that's coming in with the uh, steel deliveries from north of Bakersfield, which is called the Los Angeles Steel Mill, but I'd argue that that's a Bakersfield Steel Mill because Los Angeles is down here. The closest city is Bakersfield, and the other one would be Santa Barbara. But I would, I would imagine the city limits of Los Angeles don't go all the way up to Bakersfield. That's why Bakersfield is its own city. But whatever. Those are small little insignificant problems. All right. Well, this this map's going really good. I like this mission. It's telling a great little story. Fun little objectives to do, and most things already connected. I wonder what the ice cream... The ice cream's going to be taken into account at some point. It's one last thing we haven't done yet. And just in case I have to ship something up to San Francisco, I'm going to build a new road. So let's do that while we're waiting for the uh, steel to come in. I'm going to build one new road to cut through all the way to the uh, Pacific Coast Highway over here. Probably not necessary, but whatever. Oh, wow. It's a nice road, though. Okay, so that'll help us to get from Bakersfield to uh, San Francisco if needed, or from Santa Barbara over to Bakersfield uh, Steel Mill if that's needed, too. All right, where are those trucks with steel, boys? We need 10 steel for the woman's Brazil. What's taking you so long? See, line 11 should be bringing the steel. Looks like our trucks may have picked it up. Eh, it's a long drive, so I guess we shouldn't blame them. Let's see what's on this truck. Ah, there it is. Nine out of nine. Perfect. All right, so it's just going to take time. Oh, looks like we've delivered three out of four out of five. Probably already been delivered. Yep, we're just waiting for it to be counted. Eight, nine, ten. Yep, we've got it all. The most exciting film project of all time. Mr. Hughes is going to film the life of the great Genghis Khan. Oh, cool. In the starring role, the legendary John Wayne himself. Create an authentic Mongolian desert scenario. Uh, hopefully this is connected to that studio there. Yep, all right, cool. Good thing we built that truck stop there. All right, so the sand just needs to be trucked in. So we can make a film about Genghis Khan. All right, let's go over here. Build another road just in case they use that. Might be shorter. The game is really smart, too. If a new road gets built automatically in the game, uh, the AI will just take the newer, shorter route. So that's cool. All right, something to do with that ice cream. We're going to have to do something with that ice cream at some point. Let's build another truck depot here because I know I'm going to have to do something with it. Looks like we're in the positive now, too, so all the other deliveries we're making are doing us well. All right, what, what hauls ice cream? Let's see. What? We don't have an ice cream truck. This is outrageous. All right, we'll go with the faster truck, though. We'll do 10 trucks. There we go. And we'll get ready to set up a route whenever that's needed. We'll get around to it. I figured Mr. Hughes would want ice cream if he was in the hospital. I thought that's when that objective would come up. But I don't see any other industries out here. Okay. All right, so just the sand now. Ah, there it is. It's already being delivered. And perfect, we're done. Just one more truckload. That must be it. Nope, that was the planks. Ah, there's the sand. Okay, on to the next objective. The film about the legendary Mongol leader is in the can. Thanks to your help, shooting the film near a former atomic bomb test site went off without a hitch. Great. Now the greatest silver screen sensation of all time is supposed to celebrate its premiere. Although, Mr. Hughes doesn't exactly seem to be jumping for joy. 
In a nutshell, he's been acting very strangely lately. Huh, but that's rich folks for you. Prepare everything for the grand premiere so that the film has everyone attending, ooing and ahhing. Bring the production stars of the silver screen to the premiere in a vehicle that matches their status. Aww. What could be better for this than the super chief, the train of the stars? Your boss's behavior is making you nervous. In the end, wasn't the film as good as it seemed? At any rate, it seems advisable to pacify the invited press a bit, just to be on the safe side. A long bus ride will make them lethargic and manageable. Everything is ready. Mr. Hughes is the only one missing. He announces that he preferred to celebrate the premiere alone in a hotel suite. What's more, he lets it be known that he's in the mood for banana and nut ice cream. Lots of banana and nut ice cream. Fulfill this wish for him. Okay, well, we got the hotel one already set up. Hotel is here, so we already got a truck depot there. So that one's good. So line 15 will bring the ice cream. So that's one in the bag already as soon as the trucks get there. So let's just deliver a ton of ice cream. Good. All right, now, uh, let's see. The next one is to uh, bring in the stars on a custom train line. Uh, establish a line where it takes at least five minutes to get from the airport to the premiere. Uh, the premiere is this big, big building here. Parkview Cafe. Okay. Oh, that, apparently that's a cinema in there, too. Okay. All right, so we want to take a long bus line to get here. So we want it to take a while. All right, I'm going to go ahead and design a railroad and uh, get everything finished, and then we'll see how it all turns out. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, everything should be ready to complete. There goes the Super Chief loaded with the Super Chief cars. Beautiful diesel train. Look at that, baby. And I built a beautiful line that goes up the coast as well, so we'll kind of keep an eye on that. So uh, let's see. We uh, have to show for the press around, too, so I uh, at least uh, wait a line with two stops established. We actually should have a uh, line on that one ready to go. I ass assigned a uh, route to that one, so uh, I guess it has to be two stops. I'll go ahead and correct that one. But anyway, let's watch the train go for a little bit. It looks like I'll need to uh, just make only two stops that go way out of town to slow down the members of the press to make them a little uh, more complicit, I guess. All right, ice cream is delivered. Good. There goes our beautiful train cutting through the hills of California. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Look at that. I built it a little quickly so it doesn't look as beautiful as it should, but the uh, sights that you can see along the line are pretty good. All right, let's get this last one readied. I'll have to uh, change that line. I made a line here, line 16. I guess it's supposed to only have two stops, so I gotta basically make it go out of, <laughs> I gotta make it go nuts. Let's see, let's delete all these stops then, and we'll redo the line. So it needs to go from the airport to the premiere, but it has to have two stops, a line with two stops established. So. Shouldn't it just be this, then? How would I control that? I don't know if there's waypoint settings in the game. Well, there it goes. We should have a vehicle en route. So, hopefully it takes five minutes or so to get there. If not, I'll have to uh, bulldoze some roads or possibly see if there's a waypoint setting. The boats and such, I think, have a waypoint setting, but I don't know about... Uh, let's see, buildings... I don't know, we'll see. Oh, good, perfect. Now it's actually uh, registering. All right, let's go ride the train while we wait. Hopefully it takes five minutes. If not, I'll just kind of figure it out. Where'd the train go? The train has already left the station, baby. There she rolls. There's a beautiful little bridge up here I want to see it cross. Uh, where did I build that thing? Over here, maybe? Should be a bridge around here somewhere. Hope it didn't pass it yet. Ah, here it is. I was going to make it out of stone, but then I thought steel seems a little more appropriate for this era. Look at that. That's beautiful. We're playing on high speed, so keep that in mind. Okay, uh, let's see. So it looks like I'll have to fix the bus problem, so let's get that sorted out. But the Super Chief should be completed here in a second. Uh, oh, actually, it's already uh, registered. Good. Okay, let me figure out uh, how to make this one go a little longer. All right, that should do it. I uh, bulldozed all the roads going into town, and they have to go this windy route, or maybe this main road, to uh, go past Mr. Hughes's uh, golf course. I'm sure everyone else driving this route is going to love it. There we go. That should make it so that way they have to go all the way outside of town. 
So an interesting little challenge. Like, you can only do two stops, so you can't make it as windy, but this should work. So we're already up to 100 and something seconds here. Where is that bus? Line 16. Uh, let's find road vehicle 106. There she is. Wow, imagine driving on this route. What a jerk, Mr. Hughes. Oh, man. Reporters are going to take a while to get here. They have to drive past Mr. Hughes' airport, his golf course, and his studio. Hilarious. All right, where is the premiere now? Right here. All right, everything else has been delivered, including the booze. Excellent. All the ladies will be here. Despite all the effort, the critics panned the film and tore it apart. What? A total disaster. Mr. Hughes has contracted you to buy back all the film copies in circulation to spare him from any more gloating. Oh, wow. All right, I guess now we need to earn $10 million. Well, we're already at a million, so I guess we just wait for the countdown to complete. We're earning quite a bit of money from airport uh, airplanes and such. I guess I'll just wait. Oh, whoa, we just, whoa, just got like an instant five million. Damn, thank you. Whoever that was, that was a, that was somebody must, must have been clicking the join button or something next to the uh, subscribe button, helping us to defeat Kappa. Well, I guess we'll just wait it out. We're already at six million. Ba, 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 ba. All right, we're at uh, seven million. Meantime, I just kind of want to enjoy the music. All right, we're at eight million. Wow, can't believe how much money we're actually earning. We we pulled up into the positive, boys. I can't believe it. All these trucks, cars, and trains. I wonder how much our train is making us. All right, well that should be it. There's uh, how many people waiting? Forty-nine. Not too bad. Train should be back soon. I already see it coming. Hey! You were lucky. You managed to buy back all the copies of the film before it receives awful reviews. And Mr. Hughes, he's not grateful to you. He sits in a darkened hotel room and sorts peas by side. Time to look for a new job. All right, guys. I'll see you next time for more. Thank, make, thank you, everybody, for clicking and tapping that uh, subscribe button and the like button. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.